Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our preparatory ground instruction for our second lesson on instrument flight. We're going to be discussing unusual attitudes and how to recover from them. So this is kind of like you're at the end of the rope. So first off, you went flying when the weather was bad and you shouldn't have gone flying. Then you should have turned around, but you didn't and you pressed forward. And then you ended up in cloud when you really shouldn't be in cloud. And now you're at the point just before death uh, where you are find, finding yourself in an unusual attitude. And uh, unfortunately, if you're at this point, uh, it, it's it's pretty much game over. Uh, if, you, if you didn't have the judgment or the skill to get yourself out from the situation earlier, uh, you're probably not gonna get out of it at this point, unfortunately, and unfortunately you will die. So, but this is kind of the last, um, this is your last kick of the can to, to, to get yourself out of a bunch of bad decisions that you made and you found yourself in an unusual attitude. So let's begin. Uh, let's say we're in an unusually nose high attitude. So we can, we're can we looking up, our airspeed is rapidly decreasing. Our uh, attitude indicator is showing nose up. We're in a climb, so this is how it looks like. So the recovery for it, we're lowering the nose, adding power, leveling wings, and returning to cruise. But again, unfortunately, if you couldn't keep the plane straight and level, uh, in cloud, you're probably not going to be able to recover from an unusual attitude. This is an unusual nose high attitude. Lower the nose, add full power, and level the wings. Return to cruise. Next, let's talk about nose low. So here we have no, nose low. So look at the attitude indicator, it's down. The airspeed's rapidly increasing. And look at our vertical speed indicator. It's like pegged at 2000 feet a minute. And this one's the most common. In your ground school, you watch that video of um, of the 178 seconds or whatever it is, uh, you, you ended up in a spiral dive. So again, uh, sadly, if you could avoid a spiral dive, it's gonna be really difficult to um, get out of it. Anyway, if you do, you reduce the power to idle, level the wings, and raise the nose. So it's a spiral dive recovery and return to cruise. This is an unusual nose low attitude. Recover as if a spiral dive recovery. Power to idle, level the wings, and ease out of the dive. Let's talk about uh, some human factors. I got these images from Bold Method. They have a lot of really good little diagrams. So I ripped some of them off, but uh, go to their website, check out their uh, YouTube channel. Uh, they have a, a lot of uh, good information. First one is the somatographic effect. This is called a false climb illusion. So the little autoliths, I believe they're pronounced uh, in your ear, kind of like weights on, on, uh, on the end of hairs that indicate to your uh, brain if your, your head's pitched back or forward. So the, when this happens is on, let's say, a go around and you're in cloud and you apply a full power and you start accelerating. And because you accelerate, those auto lists tilt back and give the, give the uh, impression or give the illusion that you are climbing two nose high up. So then what you end up doing is you end up pushing the, the nose down. And as you push the nose down, you accelerate. And as you accelerate, they move back even farther and you still think you're high. And I've actually seen somebody do this one time uh, that I was training. It was, it was really dramatic. And, uh, and I always just thought it was, it was kind of like an academic exercise. But until I saw this person um, aim for the control tower uh, or the terminal building, I, I never realized that, you know, it was a very real thing that people can uh, experience. So here's this example. Uh, we have the sensation during acceleration of climbing. And in, rea in reality, we might be just level, but then the reaction is to push uh, forward. Secondly, we have something called a false turning illusion. Uh, so let's just say we're in a gentle turn. The e inner ear equalizes over time in a turn. And then when we suddenly uh, straighten out, the ear senses a turn in the opposite direction. And so you end up going back into a turn. For your flight test, your examiner is going to give you an unusual attitude and you're going to be expected to recover. So uh, you want to do that in smooth coordinated movements. You want to avoid a stall and then return to the uh, straight and level flight uh, using your instruments. So that concludes this uh, PGI on unusual attitudes. Uh, thanks for 
uh, joining me. We'll see you in our next uh, two lessons. I should mention as well, the next two lessons are for uh, commercial uh, students only. If you want to, by all means, uh, watch them as a private pilot, but you won't be tested on them. And uh, your instructor might give you training on them, but uh, it's not it's not part of the syllabus.